I love this song. Me too. Is it from their new album? Yeah, their new one. Well, not their new one, but their their last one. Hey, have you seen Airplane? I have. <laughs> Twice. It's really funny. Especially the first time. <laughs> May I? Sure. <sighs> Surely. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> I'm not moving too fast, am I? God, no. <sighs> I love your hands. Yeah, your handwriting. I, I've, I've always loved your handwriting. You keep rubbing my hand like that, I'm gonna have to grant you three wishes. Open sesame. Is that your first wish? Because that might be moving a bit fast. Oh, no, I didn't mean Kidding. it. First wish? Is something wrong? The song is wrong. What? The song is so wrong for this moment. I didn't even hear it. Uh, no. No. All right. Let's go. I'm spent. Take your damn pants, Shinky. Uh. What happened with Diane last night? Melora told me you queered the deal, literally. What? Why would she say that about me? Remember, you kissed cowboy number three at that party? That was a heroic act. Besides, I was doing a Bugs Bunny impression. I even said, what's up, dog? Yeah, I know, but let's face it. All anybody remembers at that party is you standing on your tippy toes, full on kissing a man. And then you flame out with Diane last night. Oh, Melora's the worst. She's not, okay? You only see her horrible side. I gotta see her good side. The side where she takes out her clothes off. You only like her because she's easy. You are a judgmental boy, you know that? Diane said she liked the song. No, worse, actually. She said she didn't even notice that it was playing. Oh, no. The ears are the gateway to the soul, Shinky. Okay, sure, but a, a kiss is the gateway to the rest of the body, all right? And Diane Gabaldi's body. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I think beneath that angel body beats the heart of a 40-year-old housewife named Margaret. You know what you are? You are a music racist. You're a musicist. Oh, heavy, man. Yeah, it is heavy, but you gotta power through Diane Gabaldi's music if you want Diane Gabaldi. What do I do, Shink? You gotta let me break you. How? You have to listen and tolerate bad music. And who has the lamest collection of music in Brave Vista? My family. Oh, stop it. You're such a flatterer. Okay. Okay, bye, cutie pants. <gasps> Great news, you guys. I'm seeing someone. And what's the news part of that news? Tell me all about him. He's so nice to me. He listens to me when I talk. He even listens to me when I'm silent. Mm -hmm. He's only been here two weeks, and he already has three jobs. Sounds a lot better than that guy who tried to undo your bra with his feet. <laughs> He has these soft, piercing eyes. He has soft, piercing brown eyes. Hmm. His family just moved here from Pakistan. Hmm. Oh, great. His name is Nasif. Nas, nas, na, naf, na. Well, that's a mouthful. Nasif. What name is he thinking of using here in Canada? See, this is exactly what I was worried about. So when you meet him, just cool it with your off-color remarks. Well, that's going to be pretty easy because I'm not in the habit of making any off-color remarks. You do. So don't. Sweetie, I have to tell you, I don't have one racist bone in my body. Well, what about those little nicknames you have for the guys at work? I mean, you call Spud Spud because he's Irish, right? No, I call him Spud because he went to jail for stealing a truckload of potatoes. Hmm. So you're wrong. Well, why do you call Henry Chief? Well, it's a compliment. He is a Indian gentleman who's a chief, like the, the top best one. Oh, you two are prejudging me. So I wonder, who is it that's prejudiced? That went way 
better than I expected. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what are you two doing in here? I just want to listen to one of your records. Well, you can't just barge in. What if I was indecent? Well, you should put up a sign or something. Or a schedule that tells us exactly when you will be indecent. Can I borrow a record? You hate my records. He hates everybody's records. That's why he's going to die alone and unloved unless I cure him, huh? Okay. Which one? I don't know. They're all awful. I have to just move past your terrible music as a challenge to myself. Sounds stupid. That one. Dug in the slugs! No! <laughs> yeah. Interesting. The brain is trying to escape the music by sneaking out of his nose. Yeah, you know the idea is to not hear that noise, right? Yeah, I think I, I know that. Do you mind if I ask you a question? You don't mind when I call you chief, do you? Am I allowed to be honest? More or less? I don't like it. The only thing you know about me is that I'm a native guy. Well, you are a native guy, aren't you? That's not everything about me. Uh, did you know I'm really good at roller skating? Mm -hmm. Or that I play the trumpet? You play the trumpet? Wow! No, I don't. But if you knew me better, you'd know that. Hey, what's my real name? Isn't it Henry? My Blackfoot name is a boat dachshin. A boat A boat dachshin. Come on. That's way too long. I can't say that. We get paid by the hour. You, you didn't even try. I'm not racist. I'm just not good with names. I'm assuming mostly non-white people names. No, no. You should hear me try to say Bertram. Blech. You just said it perfectly. And that was the first time ever. You see that kid there? That fine young man is dating my daughter, and I could care less. As a matter of fact, watch this. Hey. Hello. Lloyd McKay, Master of the Universe. Just kidding, but actually I do run this place. Narendra Pradayar. Narendra Pradayar, cool. Yeah, um, I am Belinda McKay's father. Belinda? Wow. She will not shut up about you. She really likes you, you know. She does? Yeah, it's all Narendra this. Narendra? Narendra that. Narendra. Yes, Narendra. Narendra. Neil, hey, what are you doing Saturday night? I have no plans at this moment. Well, you do now. You're coming over for dinner. I will not take no for an answer. Then I can only say yes. Okay, this is going to be amazing there. Uh, two cultures coming together, you know, sharing culture, like the colors of a rainbow. Over a meal. What a jackass. It's gonna be a classical gas. It's an expression that yes. we use here. Everybody can use it, it's everybody's expression. I'm gonna see you then, and we're gonna have a great time. Hi, Mrs. McKay. Boy, before reading this book, the only thing I could have told you about Pakistan is that certain people were from there. You know that music you were listening to this morning? This morning. A thousand banjo songs. Yeah. Can I borrow it? Yes. Of course. But I'm going to have to ask you to be very careful with it. I ordered it from the television, and it's a limited time offer. It's so thick. That might be because of the thousand banjo songs that are on it. Track 81, that's my favorite. Banjo Beethoven. Oh, but then there's Banjo Barrio. That one's spicy. You kids, though, might like Banjo Batman. I am sure that we will find something perfect. Mm -hmm. Are those cookies I'm smelling, Mrs. McKay? Right. <laughs> well, a thousand banjo songs. So I guess I'll check on you around Christmas? What if you're killing me? Did you ever think about that? What if this is actually a thousand cuts to my soul? What if the me bleeds out and all that's left is just a Muzak version of your best friend? Muzak! All in due course, my friend. Hey, you know, my mom was right. Banjo Beethoven is actually pretty good. Good.
you cheating yourself, Ian. The life of a musicist is a lonely one. There she is. I was just telling your mother the good news. What? Your dad invited your boyfriend over for dinner Saturday night. Isn't that nice? Just shows how friendly and open-minded I am. Cool. Missy? What? Dad said he invited you over for dinner on Saturday. He did? Uh, no, you misunderstood completely. Uh, what I said was I was going to invite him over for dinner once I met him for the first time, which I'm obviously doing right now. So, am I invited <laughs> for dinner? Well, unless you're busy, then that would be totally cool if you don't come. No, 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 I would love to come. Great! Great. <laughs> you're so weird, Dad. <laughs> what was that all about? I may have invited the wrong Pakistani gentleman over for dinner. Hmm? It was an honest mistake. Come on, help me figure out who I invited over. So you literally walked up to the first Pakistani man you saw. Oh, goodness, Lloyd, was he even Pakistani? I don't know, but he had those kind of eyes that Belinda described. Brown? Yes, he had brown eyes. So you walk up to the first guy you see with brown eyes, who may or may not be Pakistani, assume he's Nassif? How's that not racist? Well, I've just never met Nur... Nal... Nur... Nassif. Oh, His oh. name's Nassif. Okay, it's not racist to not recognize someone you haven't met yet. Fine. Do any of those men seem familiar to you? Him. He does. That's Nassif, Belinda's boyfriend. We played Yahtzee with him last night. Well, I guess I can't do anything right. I'm going to get out of here before you bring up the time that I swallowed your engagement ring. Accidentally. How's the music treating you? It's like a horror movie. Some mundane psycho killers drilling into my head. It's not that bad, come on. It's a torture chamber. This might very well be the worst pain I've ever felt. You're exaggerating. I may never smile again. Do you guys have an appointment? No, we're just here for the music. So, what do you think, honey? What is all this stuff? Well, I think I recognize rice. The little green things are rice, right? Mm-hmm. But the bright orange lumps. Did you cut up a Nerf ball? It's chicken tikka. But say if we didn't have cumin, so I used cinnamon, and they didn't have cardamom, so... So you used cinnamon. But it looks terrific, doesn't it? I had to use a lot of food coloring, but I think I got it to look exactly like the pictures. Well, we'll all need sunglasses, but sure. And how does it taste? Oh, I don't think my palate's sophisticated enough to tell. Mom? Okay, here it goes. Terrible. It's the worst thing I've ever had in my mouth. I once ate a deer dropping, which I thought was a juniper berry. <laughs> so a guy's coming to dinner and you don't even know his name. Yeah, that's my whole point. What kind of weirdo accepts a dinner invitation from a guy he doesn't even know? What do you want me to do about it? I don't know. Back me. Be ready for anything. <laughs> Ian. You realize I'm the least racist guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> you were there that time in Banff when I bought that black gentleman what? an ice cream cone. Because you knocked the ice cream cone out of his hand. Accidentally. And then remember, I bought him a fresh one. After you told him not to get all uppity about it. That's not a race thing. I tell you all the time not to get uppity. Hey, can I borrow one of your Irish Rovers records? Don't get uppity. See, I naturally use that expression. Look, honestly, I want to borrow one. But Ian, you hate my music. I know. I find it unbearable. I did it. I got through the whole song without puking. I think I could listen to any music now. Ian, that song isn't about a unicorn at all. No, it's about a bunch of humpty back camels and chimpanzees. Way more than just unicorns. No. It's about all of us getting along together, two by two, despite our race, our creed, our skin. You know, if that unicorn had gotten along with everybody, we might be riding them today. <laughs> yeah, like we could afford a unicorn. <laughs> Come on, son. Let's go get along with some people. Wine, woman, and song. Oh, Blinda. <laughs> Look who I found. Oh. Hey, 
Hey, I brought you flowers. <laughs> Look who else I found. <laughs> oh, more bars. Hey there, Ian. Ah, uh, so nice to see you. We're all we're all here, all of us. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Ah, uh, everybody's here. <laughs> So let's uh, let's have some dinner. Uh, uh, who doesn't like drinks, huh? Alcoholic beverages. Hey. Hello. Zeef. You're here for dinner? Uh, I was invited by your father. Dad. Huh? Yep. We need to talk. Is it supposed to be this color? Whatever color it is, it's okay with me. Well, don't everyone dig in at once. No, I, I think we should wait, just in case Dad invited someone else. No, everybody I meant to invite is already here, thank you. Oh, so you thought it was a good idea to invite your new friend over on the same <laughs> night you invited Nassif. Well, I may have made one mistake. I guess being too neighborly can be a mistake, yes. Looks good, Mom. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, that is hot. That is very spicy. Oh. 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 Ah. oh, what the hell is that? That's a lassie. It's, it's a traditional Pakistani drink. It's number one in popularity. <sighs> Mr. McKay, can I speak with you privately? It's a matter of great urgency. Okay. You gotta cover me here, son. What do you want me to do? I don't know if I'm not out in 20 seconds. Cut yourself with a knife. Mm. No. Um, what's going on? I know the game you're playing. Inviting a second suitor for Belinda. There's no game going on. I have no game. I'll do it. I'll marry Belinda. What? Who are you phoning? My father. You and him will need to discuss the dowry as per tradition. Helen! Ah, yeah, oh, please. Yeah, What's happening? Uh, my father just needs to have a man-to-man -man discussion yeah. with your husband. Yeah. In Urdu. Good grief. Hello. 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 Sir, I'm trying to understand you. I just, I, I just can't understand you. I'm sorry. Mom, Dad, you better get in here. I have to go. My son may have cut himself. Belinda McKay, will you do me the great honor of becoming one of my wives? <laughs> Oh, Mr. McKay, I should thank you for offering your daughter to me. My other wives would be so jealous. Lloyd. No, nobody's offering anybody to anybody. Daddy, is it true that you sold me for a hundred goats? No, it is not. I'm worth a hundred goats? Mr. McKay, uh, my dad just wants to know the size of the elephant you want. For what? The ceremony. What? What's he doing? My dad just accepted 100 goats in exchange for my hand in marriage. You snooze, you lose. No, no, hold, slow it down here. 101, 102, sold. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you guys are having me on. Come on, Dad. We're just having a little fun, considering how open-minded you are. Yes, under the circumstances, I'd say you got off easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are all Belinda's. Seriously, you yeah. guys two dug in the Slugs albums and one by Chiluvag. Can't believe I almost married her. <laughs> Pizza to the rescue. Hey. Hey, Melora. Hey, uh, we are here about an apology. You don't have to apologize. What? No, you were telling me that you were going to apologize to her because you called her easy, remember? She won't sleep with me until you say sorry, please. I'm sorry I called you easy. And I'm sorry I said you were gay. Anyway, try not to queer this deal. Now we're even, weirdo. Hey. Hey. What kind of party is this? She's so hot. It was the only Pakistani record in Wolko. Tablomania. I think we could listen to this all night. That sounds great, Mom, but maybe Ian wanted to play something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 not, not me. Does anybody mind if I play something? Yes, please. 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 Check this out. Bin Marin, de do pingüe, cugaramba, garatini, rifue, de todas las muchachas que hay aquí. Don't make me dance alone. Rock and roll, let's go, Guati. 
<laughs> See how a gentleman does it? Well, at least he's not gay. We know that for sure. <laughs> Ian, we never thought you were gay. But if you'd been our little gay boy, it would have been fine. Mom! Yeah, it would have been fine with me because I'm not uh, gaysist. Like I'm not racist. In fact, I'm, uh, you know, loving this Pakistani music right now. It's not Pakistani music right now. See, I couldn't even tell because I'm colorblind. <laughs> I meant, no, I'm actually literally colorblind. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Night. Seriously? Uh, you can play that game. Uh, oh. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah, punch that clock. Uh, bread. Put your bread in my toast and two slices. <laughs> yeah, brown it good. Cream my corn. Oh, roast my beef. Oh, eat. Feed my fish. Oh. Feed it. What the hell is with all the fish talk? Seriously, just feed your damn fish. Wait, who's in there? Better not be my sister. Mom? What the hell? Sorry. For more on Young Drunk Punk, go to citytv.com.